Riding on the city of New Orleans Illinois Central Monday morning rail Fifteen cars and fifteen restless riders Three conductors Twenty-five sacks of mail All along the southbound Odyssey The train pulls out at Camp Cookie And rolls along past houses, farms and fields As in trains that have no name Great yards full of old black men And the graveyards of the rusted automobiles sons of Pullman porters and the sons of engineers write their father's magic carpets made of steel mothers with their babes asleep rocking to the gentle beat and the rhythm of the rails is all they feel
Saints are playing today. The Arizona Cardinals. Yeah. Don't let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. Cause Joel in the line. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. God bless you. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day of my life, we gonna shine that light. Shining in the morning, shining late at night. I've got to let it, you've got to let it. We got to let it, everybody. Oh, baby. Everybody out there.
But that's my kitchen window right there. That's her kitchen window. The rest of it is. Do you want to see how far back how did it you go? How did you find this? Thing? Because the little girl who I was the nanny for that lives down the street from her mom, her school is down the street from her Very small for rent sign in that, um, in that window. And I said, let's go see. I want to check it out.
Self-appointed, but still ambassador. That's the important part. This here behind me is beautiful Jackson Square. I'll tell you the story of this, how this worked. Back many years ago, we have a little lady here in town who was highly overlooked in uh, New Orleans history. Her name was Bar the Baroness Michaela Alamonster Pentava. A lot of names for a little guy. But anyway, what she did was she had the foresight to build these two townhouses on each end of the row houses, each end of the square here, that mirror each other perfectly. Well, once she had that completed, this out here was just a big open dirt field at one time. Plaza de Arms, Place of the Arms. Whether we were Spanish or French, the men, military men used to come out and do their morning drills out here in this big open dirt field. Well, she saw this as being more than just a big open dirt field. She wanted to pre it. She came from Orleans, France, and she wanted to make it just like that. So she did, and she got this, the city, bought this from the city, and she read dedicated it to the city, all the flora, fencing, and fauna that's inside of it, including the statue of General Jackson that stands in the center. Now, he's one of three statues that mirror each other. There's that one there in honor of his battle of coming down to help me and my pirate brothers beat the British soundly, January 15th, 1815. There's also one in Memphis, Tennessee, where he was the governor for many years. And that's also, where we're from. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right. There is one there. That's right. Then we got one in right smack dab in front of the White House. He was our seventh president of the United States. And he was from Tennessee. After that, they broke the mold. So, that's what happened with him. Behind him, we got beautiful St. Louis Cathedral, originally erected in that site in 1719. The first church got taken by fire, the second by hurricane. This one's been through both, so we're going to keep this one. <laughs> <laughs> On the left, like I said, that's the... Good uh, enough. Good enough. Good build though, yeah, thank you. We're rusty, we have we're a rusty. tour <laughs> <laughs> No, the Gabildo on the side. Rick and like I said, that, that was Spanish and French headquarters for many years. Is it, now it's a site of, I think, our finest Louisiana museum we have. Lots of New Orleans history inside. If you get a chance, it's a great spot to see. On a mirror, the mirroring building to that is the Presbyterian on this side over here. And what that is, is kind of like a hodgepodge of our Mardi Gras gone by. Some of our older Mardi Gras plays, what have you, are inside there. With that in mind, we're going to go for a ride? Sure. All right, we're off. Y'all enjoy. Thank you. No, she Daddy, what she, she right here. Right here. You want me to sit right there? Put that up there. What happened was in 1929, we're in the height of the worst depression America's ever seen. So far, let's hope. The first po' boy right there? Right there, yes sir. On 29, the streetcar works. We had streetcars that went down every one of these streets in the town, right? Best mass transit in the world. On 29, they decided to go on strike. What they did? The boys were on strike and they were out here for many, many months longer than they thought they was going to be. And Mr. Johnny, he couldn't stand it after a few months. He saw these guys just bit literally starving, man. What we did was in his kitchen, got himself out a French loaf of bread, sliced it down the middle. Well, with mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and whatever else he had in the kitchen and gave it to the pull boys on strike. Oh, that's, that's, that's how the pull boy got her there. Okay, that's cool. That's Mr. Johnny's opinion.
Would you like to try some hot sauce? I'd like you to try some. Would you like to try some fried shrimp? Daddy wants some. No thanks. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 